What's up, guys? Anthony, come back. I'd share the video. This is my first mail day in a long time. My last video, I think, was like two weeks ago, and my mail day before that was like three weeks, so like five weeks. So I have a lot of mail. Get right to this. Yeah, this stack. I got this stack. So lots of mail to go through. Um, finals are officially over. They were over on Tuesday. Uh, as you, I don't know if you can tell, but I am very tired. Um, I'm just kind of getting back to my sleep habits, which is still screwed up. Like last night, I went to bed probably around like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I was just exa exhausted. And I woke up at 10, 30 in the morning. So that's really good. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to get right to this mail. Um, this is going to be my, my last mail day before I leave for London. Um, any mail that I get until from today, because I haven't gone to the post office yet from today, till I leave, I know I got a couple things coming in uh, for sure. Um, that will be brought with me to London. So I will be doing an abroad mail day. I told, told a couple guys my plan, so I'm not going to spoil it for anyone else. But um, yeah, I have plans for uh, while I'm in London. All right. Oh, and uh, another thing, an LCS opened up, 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 an LCS opened up about five minutes from my house. So um, this is the closest I've ever had one. We had one for a long time, about 15 minutes from my house, but the guy ended up closing it down. So hopefully this one lasts. I'm actually heading down there today to sell some stuff. Uh, he did tell me he's looking for a lot of inventory. He still obviously is new. So his singles, he has a lot of stuff, but he said he is looking for more, uh, mostly football right now. Um, wax wise, he's a bit low. Uh, he has a lot of uh, the magic card game stuff. So uh, he seems to, get to be getting a lot of business for that aspect. So hopefully in return, that will keep him open. He has really long hours. I know his Friday, Saturday, he's open till midnight. So um, hopefully he makes it out. Uh, so first thing, uh, I'm going to be parting ways with my plates and patches set. Um, just decided to because I want to focus on my two other sets that I'm doing. Finish off those and probably take a break for sets for a while and focus on my um, team PCs. Um, the plates and patches set, I talked to a guy at Panini. And uh, number one, obviously, uh, Julio Jones, they, apparently he has no plans of signing anything anymore for quite some time so really don't want an incomplete set sitting around i think i need like 10 more for this set but i'm going to part ways with it so this is going to go right into the for trader for sale box uh when i go to shows the jamie harper this was sitting uh, on check out my cards for a couple months so um there's that bought a card from taiwan and the guy threw in a bunch of extras um he was on blow and he saw in my signature that i was an arsenal fan so he threw in these um these epl base cards they've been making epl like base sets and uh in the in europe for years but they've really never uh brought it over to the u.s and now we're finally getting the top cpl gold which has autographs and game using one i'm super excited so a couple cards for my very small arsenal pc but it's gonna grow hugely once this product comes out got the captain thomas vermalen and the other thomas of arsenal thomas rosiski so thank you very much for those uh, he also threw in these um upper deck anniversary uh inserts one of joe dimaggio and one of Randy Moss. So thank you for those. Really appreciate it. Now to the, get to some other stuff I picked up for the PC. I uh, picked this up for a dollar. So he doesn't have a lot of stuff in his Patriots uniform. So I thought it was a great deal. Number 10 of 10. You guys can see that. It is a insert of Danny Amendola. So a dollar for a 10 of 10 insert. I'm down. Uh, next, some rainbows. I'm doing the Aaron Dobson rainbow from this year's uh, Tops Chrome. The uh, unautographed Super Fractor is live. I'd love to get it. He has it up, he had it up for about a five thousand dollar buy it now or best offer. Um, I offered him more than fair and he auto declined it, so I said, "All right, I'm done." Um, he wants like two thousand dollars. He told me, and um, yeah, there's no way I'm paying that, seeing as I can get the Rob Gronkowski for nine hundred, who has proven himself. Dobson still has not proven himself, so I think nine hundred dollars could get the autograph version of the Dobson uh, Super Factor. So I'm gonna pass on that. Unfortunately, I won't be uh, finishing. Uh, doing the super rainbow now, but I will be doing the rest of the rainbow, the normal rainbow. So I got the base, refractor, X fractor, the blue wave, which this year they are in the packs in the boxes. There's a separate pack of blue wave refractors, but they are unnumbered. Uh, I think the autographs are numbered. I'm almost 99% positive they are numbered. The pink, the purple, excuse me, number two, four ninety nine. Ugh, I'm tired. And the pink refractor number two, three ninety nine, and I got a couple more coming in, so those will be shown in London. Oh, I forgot! I have the red refractor. <laughs> Very happy to add this one. Um, this is the first one that hit the eBay. Uh, this the first one that I saw hit blow up. The guy wanted like eighty bucks for the damn thing, 
and I was like, you know, I'm going to pass on it for now. This hit eBay uh, as an auction, and I won it for $30, $36. So uh, I'm glad to get the Red Refractor out of the way. I know, uh, Eric, you uh, had your troubles getting the bird on Pierce and ended up spending a lot of money. So glad to have that out of the way. Next, do some set pickups, all from my uh, uh, Donruss Elite set. Uh, not Donruss. I'm so used to saying Donruss. My Panini Elite Elite Series set. Got the Brian Quick. Oh, I can't get over how nice these cards are. <laughs> the TJ Graham. These things are beautiful. I already have a lot of them, so I'm repeating myself. Devere Posey. Dwayne Allen. And I picked this up good in good timing. I picked him up before he went and beat the Patriots because our our, our offensive line can't protect Brady to save, them, save his life at this point because Nate Solder got ill right before the game. I think he had a concussion the day before practice, so they really screwed us over, but Ryan Tannehill did have a big game, so I did get the Ryan Tannehill. What up, Brad? Um, picked up for like 25 bucks before that game. His stuff is definitely going up now. And lastly, I got some basketball stuff. As I mentioned in, I believe, last video and the video before that, that I was going to start uh, focusing on basketball a lot more because I've always been a basketball fan. I want to focus on one player uh, mainly, uh, and that's going to be Jared Sollinger. I was thinking about doing it uh, of him last year, uh, as well as the beginning of this year. And at the beginning of this year, I finally decided to uh, pick up a lot of stuff of his. And now he is absolutely on fire. He's been beyond. He's been performing beyond all. He looks like everyone's like, oh, he looks like the next Kevin Love. It's like, no, 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 he's not the next Kevin Love. He's the first Jared Zollinger. <laughs> I, th I think he's going to be the perfect replacement for Kevin Garnett. Um, been absolutely playing phenomenal. So I'll go through what I have of him. Uh, first off, got a short print insert. Very happy. Mostly been picking up autos, graphs, and game use, but I picked this up for next to nothing. The White Hot Rookies insert, which are absolutely beautiful. And that is the uh, numbered variation, and it is numbered to 25. So very happy to add that one. Definitely want to get this graded. Very good condition. The surface is beyond clean. Uh, this card, this card's been selling for about 10 to $15. Don't, I have no clue why. Picked it up on check on my cards for $3. The Immaculate jumbo jersey and that is numbered to 75 uh the first card i picked up of him very nice marquee autograph uh pick this one up. uh let's do this one next uh pick this one up for a steal uh guy mislisted it and said the wrong numbering and this is actually the short print version so i want it for like six bucks when this card normally sells for like about 15 to 20 dollars the select rookie auto which i'm very happy that are on card on like the select football they just released a couple days ago they said they were going to be on card, but now they're all stickers. <sighs> and that is the short print number. Two. Oh my god, that team bag is destroyed. That is the short print number two, one forty nine. He listed it as four ninety nine. Uh, next card, picked this up for SDL as well. Paid like nine bucks, sells for like twenty. The gold strike autograph, which is a beautiful card, and that is numbered two seventy five. So very happy to add those. Uh, now the last two Sullingers were big pickups, probably his two biggest cards he has out, um, two of the biggest cards he has out, very happy to get them when I did, they had already started going up, but I got them both for great prices, I don't even know which order to show them because I like them both so much, but first off, beautiful, beautiful card, love this, uh, this year's, uh, for basketball, for National Treasures, number two, 199 RPA of Jared Sullinger. Beautiful, beautiful card with the S that is right uh, at the beginning of the S. So that's probably the best patch you're going to get as a Celtic. Beautiful, beautiful card. This is the one that came from Taiwan. Beautiful. Love it. And probably my favorite card that I picked up and probably one of my favorites that Sullinger has out right now. It's a beautiful set. It's very expensive. Picked this up for like 60 bucks, which is more than a steal. Two days later, sold for 100 Very, 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 very happy. I have paid the same price as the RPA. Very, very, very happy to pick it up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. It's from the new Flawless autograph number 25 of Jared Sollinger. These cards are absolutely flawless in person. And the last pickup is not Jared Sollinger, but it is uh, basketball. Card popped up on a buy it now or best offer. I think buying it now, it would be an amazing price. Um, I sent the guy an offer just for shits. And uh, what do you know? He accepts the offer so i want it for a absolute steal i'm just gonna say right away i paid 50 dollars for it i don't care i'm not i'm not selling it so i'm not trying to flip it or anything i'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold off to let you know what i didn't pay for it but the variation to five sold for about 45 bucks on auction 
been looking to pick up an aut- his autograph for a while. Hopefully he doesn't get traded. Uh, there are rumors that he's going to uh, the Bobcats in return for Kemba Walker and Ben Gordon, which would be huge. I would love to see uh, Kemba here in Boston. That's like a dream come true. But I don't think I would want it at the expense of this guy. Um, top top five point guard in the league. I don't give a sh- flying fuck what you think, Ben. He's top five point guard in the league. Because last year he was injured for half the damn season. And he still had the uh, he had most assists in the NBA. And was injured for half the damn season. So... Yeah, so he's now uh, back in full contact practice. So he's really only missed about 20 games. So I still think he has more than enough time to uh, make his uh, make his mark in this season. And it is from 2000 and I believe this is 9, 2009 or 2007. Uh, triple Threads, White Whale, Rajon Rondo, 50 bucks. <laughs> that is sick. One color, two color, one color. Very nice. Like I said, really hope we don't trade him. I don't think we will. I think Anja has said that he is not for trade, not for sale, like my collection. <laughs> so uh, I think he, he's going to play a vital role in our uh, team. Uh, so hopefully he comes back strong from injury. He's, he's already playing quite well. We're watching him in uh, practice. And he's very, uh, he can't, you can tell, the amount of passion he has, Coach Rondo right now, as we like to call him, um, to get back onto that court. He's a part of this team more than anybody else, and uh, to trade him away, I think it would be a huge, huge, huge mistake. Huge mistake. So, beautiful, beautiful card. This is an awesome pickup for the Celtics PC. So, guys, there's a ton of mail. Uh, my next mail day will be in London, and most likely my next mail, my next video will be in London. So, I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you all have a very merry, merry Christmas. I finished sending out Christmas packages for now. Uh, sorry to a couple guys who I didn't get a chance to because expenses got a bit tight. After I first saw this, I, I'm not buying all this stuff for myself. This has been sitting, sitting here for a while, but something happened and I had a $450 bill. So unfortunately, I have to put everybody else's Christmas package on hold, but I will get something out to you. Um, usually what I do anyways is I hook people up throughout the year. Um... And then whoever I don't have done by Christmas gets hooked up by Christmas. But you'll have like an early year gift or whatnot because uh, money's really tight right now. And that's why I have to go down the card shop and sell some stuff. So guys, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year if I don't make the video before uh, the first of the year. And as always, thank you for watching.